Welcome to Making Stuff with Chris Dayhut. For today's video, we're going to be talking about another input device. In this case, a sound detector. Um, don't get this confused with voice detection or anything like that. Um, here on uh, the Amazon website where I picked up this detector, um, they call it uh, a voice detect voice control switch. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is they're implying, but I can assure you, you can't say turn on or turn off, and it's going to know what to do with that. It's a very simple device, and it will detect uh, just noise. That's all it can detect. Um, does operate on 3.3 to 5 volts, uh, which does make it useful for our uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. Uh, they're very economical, five pack of them for $7.19. And uh, uh, most of them have worked. I've tried a couple of them out of the package just to make sure they would work, and it, they seem to be functionally, functioning just fine. Um, but what we'll do, we'll take a look at the fritzing diagram to see how we wire this thing in uh, and connect it to a Pico. Uh, we're going to take our 3.3 volts out of the Pico, bring that in on the VCC uh, connection. Ground on the device is going to come back, and we'll connect that to a ground on uh, the Pico. The output from the device, we will just uh, bring that out and bring it over here and connect it in on GP15. Um, and no particular reason why it's that pin, just uh, happens to be the one that I chose. Here in the code, um, up at the top, I've got a little bit of commentary about where you can purchase this, uh, a note about the voice detect capability of it, uh, and then a commentary about that uh, potentiometer right here, a trimmer pot, and you would adjust that up or down to set your threshold for when this thing will give you uh, an output uh, for our input to detect whether there was a sound or not. Uh, programming it was fairly straightforward. You import our machine, import our time libraries. Uh, we're going to create an object called a sound sensor. Probably better to call it a sound detector, I guess. We're doing that on pin 15. And I want to pull that signal down uh, to zero volts. So it's zero at start. And then when this thing uh, gives us uh, a signal, it'll pull that voltage up. We're going to have a couple variables here. One is our previous state, PS, and then uh, one is counter. And that way we can kind of see activity as it's happening uh, while the program is running here on uh, screen. Uh, so we're in the, the loop. We're going to check the sound sensor value, uh, which is right here, the pin. And if that is equal to nothing and the previous state was loud, we're just going to update our display and set our previous state to quiet. Now, uh, also in that loop, we're going to check to see if the sound sensor is active. There's a noise being heard. Previously, uh, it wasn't being heard. And so we'll print out a longer bar graph along with that counter, uh, just to give us some feedback as to how many times we hear a loud bang or noise. And then uh, we'll set our previous state to uh, loud. And we'll update the counter, sleep, uh, for a very, very brief period of time and uh, repeat the loop. Now, uh, what I've discovered with this is that it's, it's sensing uh, just like spikes in the sound, so it won't hear a continuous sound. Like if I blow on it, um, it'll give us a bunch of on-offs. It won't stay on all the time. Uh, and therefore, you have to uh, loop through this very rapidly um, at 0 0.005 seconds, uh, half a millisecond, seems to be an acceptable uh, speed uh, from which to go in and out of this loop. Uh, so that was through experimentation I found that. Same thing with getting a, an acceptable output value from it was through experimentation, just messing around with it 
here on the bench. Uh, so with that, we'll go ahead, uh, we'll clear things out down here. I'm going to go ahead and run. And uh, we're going to start, I'm going to clap. And it heard me say that, so we got a signal there. And you see it's picking up each time I clap. Now if I pick it up and I move it to my voice and kind of talk into it, you'll see it's picking up that as well. So as I say, this is a sound detector, a sound level detector. It will detect and report to us a level of sound, regardless of what it is, as long as it meets the threshold that we set with that potentiometer. Uh, could be a very interesting device to incorporate into a couple of different projects here or there. Um, not exactly sure what, but what's funny, when I got this detector and I started messing around with it, I got, a, got to thinking I might have to try uh, putting together a little uh, uh, mock project uh, utilizing the sensor, see if I can get it to do what I want. Uh, so look forward to another video about this sound level detector. Uh, where I've got, if it works, it'll be a, a real-world application for this type of device. Well, that'll wrap it up for it. It's a really simple device. Gives us an input when there's a loud noise. That's all it does. Hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I'm Chris Dayhut for Making Stuff with Chris Dayhut. See you in the next video.